Hey there, hi there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to yet another boxing tournament. We just finished the 1979 tournament seeing the Ugandan nightmare Ayu Kalule. Give Uganda a trip to the nation's cup and all that. That's great. So that means for the nation's cup, the top 10 countries by tournaments won will get them into the tournament automatically and then there will be six qualifying matches and all that. So yeah. Crazy. But now we got some other unfinished business to do. Four of the 11 um, decades are fully done. We finished the 1880s, we finished the 1930s, the 1970s, and the 1990s. So, no word stuff. Anyway, random? 1970. Fuck! Uh, well, we might as well just finish the 1950s off. 1953, right? So we shall finish the 1950s off. Oh, and by the way, um, ah, oh, Frank, what's his last name? His first name, but Hinton. Gary Hinton will be going to the next tournament. You'll be asking why. Well, Gary Hinton finished four and one. And the rule is if you get to the final, but you're under seven fights, you get one more kick of the can. So let's just get this over with. So June the 6th, right? Oh shit, I didn't do everything correctly when I did the 1970 tournament, 79 tournament. Because I was supposed to, the last tournament was supposed to be that everyone in the first five pages with zero fights was supposed to uh, be in the tournament at least. So I have to find out 1979, I gotta find out who Got fucked through robbed. Did anyone in the first five pages get robbed? Uh, no one. Okay, okay well, Chung Ho Kim. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Okay, so I got lucky. Because I forgot that rule. So, so let's do belts. We always do the belts first. Okay. How many belts? Eight, seven, six. Okay, here are the sixes. Lots of five and ones. So they have one fight. The Belizean Lightweight Lightburn. Oopsies. Um, any other two? Okay. Cyril Deleiro. And now let's go with um, Ellie Bennett of Australia versus three and two. Okay. Richie Sands, so the Battle of Australia, 1953. Um, oh, my God. Five fights. Any above 500? No one. Okay. Uh, well, Henry Hank will face... Wait, Marcellus Baker. He's everywhere. I think. Yeah, he's like everywhere. But Yama Bahama, he'll, we'll give him a fight. All right, so then let's go with five. Right? Four, one, three, two, two, two. Yeah, there are no guys who no no guys who've been to four fights been the semifinals. So let's see. Uh, well, I gotta boost up some. Other countries. So let's go with Burials versus Valdez, the Battle of Latin America. Maple Manila, Dennis Pat Brady, sure. All right, so let's do. Now we go by rankings. H3, right? And it will be. Uh, well, Andrew Brown is page three. Yeah, he hasn't had a fight. So. He needs to fight. And he will fight Holly Mims, who is a guy, by the way. I hate saying that every time. Larry Baton. Look at nice. Page nine. Well, for the first five pages. Freddy Fernandez. Against Leo Espinoza. So, Frankie Fernandez doing his job. Okay, we'll let that happen. Uh, let that matchup happen. A 
Uh, not this one. Well, Phil Kim, but I haven't done anything to do with Phil Kim. So. So, yeah. What am I doing? Page two, right? Gene Fulmer. He hasn't fought yet. Well, he's only had two fights. Kid Fischette and Joey Gambara. Joey Gambara is page three. Johnny Sutherland. Summer Lynn. Hey, pardon? Niche. You know, burials. Oh, he's already had a fight. Page two, page one. Well, page one's got A. Williams. Well, Ike Williams. So, Ike Williams on the top page. He hasn't had his seven fights. So. That's kind of strange. I'm a little distracted, though, too. But I will do what I can. Page one, right? Okay, so page two, please. Billy Graham. I don't think I had him. And you will face Gene Fulmer, Ellsworth Webb. Sorry, um, we all i saw this, page five. Well, Paul Jorgensen hasn't had a fight, so might as well let him fight. Page 27, let's go to. Luis Federico Thompson. Against Willie Pastano, I think, right? Yeah, everyone's there, Pastano. Alright, so Andrew Brown has a fight. Gene Smith, I don't think, has fought. Yeah, I don't think we have had him fight. Page four. He will face Davey Moore. I think these guys haven't weren't on the list. Okay, so let's see. Victor Leon. We'll just leave it at that. Because I only have one guy left, and that's Hinton. I still have to do Gary Hinton. Who are the brothers? Oh, Hilton. That's who I'm thinking. Davey Hilton. So Hinton will take on Victor Leon. So not a lot of foreign representation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twenty to twelve split for the Americans. Americans want to win, and I don't blame them one bit. They've lost through. The past three champions are not American. The first one, well, the nineteen nineteen forty tournament was set up because Americans won seven straight. But the other two, Americans were allowed to try to get into the final and win, and they failed. So, let's go with Cyril de Leon of Belgium against Rocky Castellini. I think he's American. So, the Belgique, think on the American, Castellini. From Waterfront Hotel, Bob Alexander, your announcer. Reed Hossaman, your referee. Eugenia Williams, Renato Cadio, and Joe Dubenberger, your judges. And Ray, Roy Pafe, Helmet. Your ringside expert. So yeah, it's Belgium versus the United States. Belgique. I don't think they've really had much of a chance to get into these tournaments. He's named Tarzan. Oh, 59-16 and 4. He started his career 0-3. Oh, he lost to Jimmy Carter. Not that Jimmy Carter. Freddie Dawson and Lester Felton. But after wins over Luis Schemia and Heinz Newhouse, he lost to Elby Bennett by decision. And then he beat the Belizean Ludwig Lightburn, by decision, putting him in retirement. Decision Ellie Bennett putting him in retirement, so getting revenge on Bennett, and put Yama Bahama on the shelf for the Bahamas. So he's retired three guys. Castellini, if he beats Castellini, he won't be retired. He'll be four and two. But Castellini, 65, 14, and four. He beat Victor Leon before losing to Horacio Acapello a while ago. But he beat Jackie Blair by TKL. Split decision on Frankie Fernandez and a decision on Andrew Brown. So, a couple of newbies. So, let's see what he can do with Stella and Mike. They're both from 1926. You know what I mean, right? I think they do. Yeah, they're both from 
Over. The judges say Castellani. We'll see. This might be interesting. Uh, we'll see. Eugene Williams says 145-142 for Seville. Ooh, that's not going to be popular. So leave for Dumbenberger. San Marino judge says, ooh, 143, 143. So he's saying, hey, you know what? Cyril Delano. Ooh, ouch. Castellani deserved it, I think. That's about the punches, sir. Yeah, I think Cyril, yeah, he deserved it. The punching accuracy, 38 to 23. Yeah, he deserved it. The Belgium might even get in and ruin a little bit. Right. Now we have Willie Pastrano and Gene Fulmer. Ah, so two great American fighters. Must duke it out. So we could have had an all-American final. Well, you know, Dillo, no. Fulmer and Pastrano, both pretty good fighters. Even, if, well, whoever loses, they actually have at least one more tournament in them, Fulmer and Pastrano. So Ray Connolly, your announcer, Jorge Alonso, your referee, 
John McCurvey, Dave Moretti, and Eric Fetzer, your judges, Jason Wood, your ringside expert. So Fulmer and Pastrato. Well, Fulmer is a middleweight. Lifetime 55, 6, and 3. In real life, in the universe, he lost his first two fights to Jimmy Bivens and Horacio Acabello. But he beat Phil Kim by TKO decision, Bobby Jones. Not that Bobby Jones. And TKO Ike Williams putting him in retirement. On the other side of the coin, the other American, Billy Pastrano. 3-1. Light, light heavyweight. He was the WBC and WBC light heavyweight champion. Impressive back. Uh, impressive resume. Uh, he lost to Louis Federico Thompson, but he got his revenge on him and then put Paul Jorgensen out and Kale Davy Moore. So, yeah, he had the both for pretty good fighters. <laughs>
And maybe another game of Fulmer unofficially has the lead. The, the unofficial guy said it's going to definitely be um, Fulmer. Well, let's see what Ray Connolly says. John McCarthy, big John McCarthy, scores at 144 142 for Fulmer. Fetzer puts it 143-142 for Pastano. And Dave Moretti scores it 144-141 for Fulmer. Yep, Gene Fulmer by split decision. Pastrano will have to try again some other time. But Gene Fulmer, big split decision. I think it was close. Yeah, I would say it would be it was the right decision or a tie. So the American Jean Fulmer against the Belgian Cyril, Cyril Delano. If Delano wins, he will be in Group A. If Fulmer wins, he's in Group D. So, just to let you know. Jeff Connor, your announcer from Chicago Stadium. Jose Kobe on your referee. Bill Graham, Gerald Motes, and Victor Cacone. Your judges, Richard Plunkett, your ringside expert. Got the six and four Belgian versus the four and two American. Fulmer has a bit of a lead. And Fulmer's the favorite. No money what? These two guys better be it. If Fulmer loses at seven, and he won't be eligible to compete in the Hunter Man tournament. I'll tell you. Mm.
13. Judges' 
Small can say it's one for his own but I tend to believe. Hmm. Not even close. Gene Fulmer easily took it. So he's going to grid D. And the Americans will get a winner for the first time in four tournaments. But I feel bad for Belgium. Like, they won't have a guy probably to qualify and give them a spot in the tournament. Except for the combinations, I think Fulmer had to put 54% punching accuracy. Yeah, he got knocked down twice. That's what happens. And Gene Fulmer, Kachi.